Sup guys, today I'm going to show you how to make that classic studs texture you see in a ton of Roblox games, especially stuff like Grow a Garden. And I'm not just going to show you how to slap it on a part, I'm going to show you how to actually control the size of the studs. That way you can use it on tiny parts or massive parts, and it won't look all stretched and weird anymore. And the best part? We're going to do this all with a free Roblox plugin. Super easy to do. Let's get started. Okay, so starting off, the first thing we need is the tool. It's a plugin called Resurface. So what I'm gonna do is just go up to the View tab, open the toolbox, make sure you change the category to Plugins, and in the search bar, just type in Resurface. Go ahead and install that. Then go over to your Plugins tab and check if it pops up. If you see it, we're good to go. All right, so now that we have the plugin ready, let's focus on like five parts for testing. I've just laid them out from smallest to largest and named them A, B, C, D, and E, just to make it super simple. Okay, so let's try putting the studs texture on a normal sized part. We'll start with part C, this middle one here. So what I'm gonna do is go to the plugins tab and click on resurface. You'll get this little menu. Uh, just click the first button on the left and you'll see a bunch of materials. We just want to find studs and click that. Once you do, just point your mouse at whatever face of the part you want to change and click. And boom, just like that. Nope, right now we're just doing it one face at a time. But what if we want to do the whole part at once? Super easy. In that same menu, just click all faces and then click the part. And as you can see, it'll automatically cover the whole thing in studs. Okay, so now you know how to add studs. But here's the problem. If we scale the part bigger or smaller, the studs texture stays the same size, which makes it look all cut off and just bad. So what if our part is super tiny or really massive and we want the texture to actually fit right? The solution is actually pretty simple. If you look closely in your Explorer, under Material Service, you'll see this new object called Studs just popped up. This thing appears whenever we use that All Faces option from the plugin. Uh, let's just test that again. If I delete this studs object, as you can see, the texture is gone. And then if I add the studs back with all faces, boom, the studs object is back in material service. Now this studs object is what we're gonna configure to adjust the stud sizes. So first thing I'm gonna do is just duplicate it and I'm gonna rename it so we don't get confused. Let's just call it studs v2. Then go to part B, open up its properties and scroll down to appearance you'll find a property called Material Variant. Just click that and select the Studs V2 we just made. Next, go back to your Explorer, open up Material Service, and select our Studs V2. Check its properties. We want to focus on the Appearance category, specifically this property right here, Studs Per Tile. Now all you have to do is just adjust these numbers to whatever you want. So I'm just gonna tweak this and match it up with all the different part sizes I made. Looks cool, right? Now every part has perfectly sized studs. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment on what video you wanna see next.